Premier Ford's interpretation of an upside down flag was expressing disdain or disrespect for the military and that he would personally help you pack your bags to find another country to live in. Well, what, do you, what do you make of those comments? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd offer him the same thing. If he doesn't like it, he can pack his bags and go somewhere else too. He can go back to his cottage that he told, told us not to go to. Maybe they should understand what it stands for. A, a country in distress. We're yes. in distress. We would love to pack his bags in 2022 and send him back to the cottage. Literally, he was just trying to turn the people who are really ignorant against the protesters. What he was aiming to do was to make people mad at the people who are actually fighting for freedom. The reality is that an upside, upside down flag, like you've said, is just a sign of distress, nothing more. And the fact is no one's moving anywhere, Doug Ford. We voted you in. And how about you go ask Trudeau why he's giving 800 $153 million of taxpayers' money to the UN. That's who he should worry about. We're not moving anywhere. We're going to stay here and demand for our rights, period. We think we have rights and freedoms, but we have privileges and allowances. And the way they've rolled this out is a perfect example of when push comes to shove and the authoritarians want to enforce their will upon the people, this is what happens. Well, I come from a military family, so uh, a lot of people in my family have actually fought and died for our freedom, the freedoms of Canada that I am trying to defend now by speaking out. So, yes, I do consider it uh, very insulting. Uh, same with him calling us a bunch of yahoos. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're the yahoos that pay him. We're his boss, and he should start listening to the people. When you can't articulate your position with facts and data, you name call. That's an ad hominem attack and he's got nothing, so he's name calling. And it's intellectually dishonest. Well, Yahoo Nation returned to Queen's Park last Saturday for protest number three, and they were more revved up than ever. You see, after the first protest, Ontario Premier Doug Ford called these people a bunch of Yahoos, yet the people I met there were, well, they were well-spoken, tax-paying citizens who simply want to go back to work or go back to school. Where's the Yahoo part about that? But after protest number two, I think the Premier really blew it by calling those with upside down flags being anti-military when an upside down flag is a universal symbol of distress. And then he'd say he'd pack their bags so they could presumably leave the province or even the country. Really, Doug? You want to exile people for having a different opinion? Wow. And here's what some of you had to say. Lake Nipissing writes, everyone, stop begging the government to let you open your business and open up en masse. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, Lake Nipissing, as long as businesses pledge to practice the same social distancing etiquette as Walmart and Costco and LCBO, then what's the risk? And why this double standard in the first place? So yeah, open for business, and should bylaw come by and whack you with a $880 fine for doing so? Hey, just go to our website, fightthefines.com. And if your case has merit, folks, we'll go to bat for you in a court of law and pick up your legal fees while doing so. Charlie CCC writes, Canadians should embrace the term yahoos like us Trump supporters embraced deplorables. Oh, rest assured, Charlie, the people at the Queen's Park protests are now wearing Yahoo as a badge of honor. Ponguido97 writes, the day of reckoning will arrive as voters face the truth. Doug Ford isn't Rob Ford. Well, Pognito97, what you wrote is sad, and I'm afraid it's also very true. Douglas Mirowski writes, simple fact, Ford is pulling a Trudeau, thought he was a conservative. Well, Douglas, we had so many comments like yours, the only difference is that Justin, to the best of my knowledge, doesn't attack his own base. But I can tell you the majority of the pro protesters at these Queen's Park events voted PC in 2018. I don't know what Ford is thinking by attacking them. And Maxwell Smart writes, as a vet, I'll help Ford pack up his office. Ha, the old midnight move trick, eh, Chief? Uh, those of a certain age will get the reference to the late, great Don Adams. So are you familiar with the Jesse Morton story? It is a fascinating tale to be sure. As chronicled by the clarionproject.org, Morton is a former hippie who converted to Islam and intended to become a jihadi. 
he actually threatened the lives of the South Park creators for their cartoon depiction of the Prophet Muhammad. But get this, while serving a jail sentence, he eventually became an informant for the FBI. It is one heck of a yarn, and you can get the full story by visiting rebelnews.com slash clarion.